I just, and, I just don't, I just can't, I can't afford three hundred dollars a month in addition to child support and pay rent and pay for my bills and stuff. And it's I understand. really going to really hurt me. Do you have any private insurance available, maybe through an employer, even though you don't have them enrolled? Like, is it available? Period. No, we don't. Sorry. What is the amount that you would propose for the medical support to be set at? I, I mean, we. I never had to pay this before, you know, I'd always just paid the, my child support and that's been, I mean, that's expensive too. Do you have a proposed amount? I mean, I don't want to pay anything because I can't afford it. I can't do it. I don't have enough money. I don't have, a, you know, I'm not, I have chronic anxiety. <laughs> this is giving me, this is, this case is giving me anxiety now. Medicaid is not free and the doctors don't work for free. Uh, Your Honor, this is a modification on a prior order. I'd like um, for the court to take notice of both parties who are here but had not been served yet. So noted. Um, the parties have reached a full agreement. Read that into the record. The parties agree that child support should be set at $604. Actually, we have one contested issue. The parties agree that child support should be set at $604. Um, the uh, parties agree that the insurance should be pr provided by the government medical. Um, the parties agree that there should not um, be a non-disclosure or um, that this class, uh, case should be flagged family violence. Parties agree that there are no current arrears. The only disagreement is on the medical support. I'll um, call the mother, ma'am. Ma'am, how is the child covered through uh, medical insurance? Uh, through a mayor group. Well, it was. Well, he was, sorry. <laughs> and it was through a mayor group, and which is a government type insurance that my ex-husband had it covered, but I don't know how it ended up lapsing. But like in the divorce decree, it says that he's supposed to be providing, you know, the medical. Do you have any private insurance available today for your child? No, because there are medical labs. Okay. Do you have any private insurance available, maybe through an employer, even though you don't have them enrolled? Like, is it available, period? No, we don't. Sorry. All right. And the state has calculated... Um, medical support in, in the amount of $334. Do you object to the father paying that amount? For the medical? Yes, if the, if the children are to be enrolled in government medical. So we're still able to have him enroll in government medical? Ma'am, if the judge orders for you to apply to government medical, and if you are approved, the state would be seeking in that circumstances a reimbursement from the father at $334. Are you in agreement or disagreement with that? I just, I don't want him being charged more, you know, so. Okay, ma'am. Um, I understand your um, stance on that. Do you, um, has there been any family violence between you and the father of the child? Not recently, no. Do you have any safety concerns with your address being disclosed in this court order? No, he knows where we live. Um, if you were to move, do you have any um, concerns with him having your address, him or anybody else? No. Um, do you have any other information you would like to offer regarding this case? No. Okay, pass this witness. I'll call the father. Are those still your agreements? Yes. I, um, I just, and, I just don't, I just can't, I can't afford $300 a month in addition to child support and pay rent and pay for my bills and stuff. And it's I understand. really going to really hurt me. Um, let me just answer. I will get to that, sir. Let me just answer, ask my questions and we'll get to that issue. Um, do you have private insurance available for your child? Uh, I work for Target, so I imagine they have some kind of insurance that I could put them on. Do you um, have them enrolled today? 
I I currently have an application pending with the Mara Group. They they dropped his they dropped him for some reason. I guess I don't I don't really know why it yeah. lapsed. And, and sir, if um three hundred and thirty four dollars is not appropriate in your view, what is the amount that you would propose for the medical support to be set at? I, I mean we. I never had to pay this before, you know, I'd always just paid the, my child support and that's been, I mean, that's expensive too. And Do you have a proposed amount? I mean, I don't want to pay anything because I can't afford it. I can't do it. I don't have enough money. I don't have, you know, I'm not. Understood. Um, have you, uh, has there been any family violence between you and the mother? yeah in the past but that's all in the past you know do you um was it within the last two years no we get along pretty well now you know we still do things together as a family she i mean i, I don't mind you know like we we hang out and you know i try to create this i just try to make things normal for my son you know i don't want him to see us fighting understood besides the information that you've already provided and stated as your testimony, do you have anything additional um, that you would like to state to the court? Uh, I'm, I don't know if this is like relevant, but I'm a combat veteran and I am, I'm on disability, you know, for, for PTSD and I have chronic anxiety. <laughs> this is giving me, this is, this case is giving me anxiety now. So let's get into that for a moment. Um, you said you are on disability through um, for um, veteran disability. Is that service connected disability? Yes. yes. Okay, no further questions. All right, the parts y'all agreed to, which is mainly just a child support and there's been no family violence in the last two years are fine. Uh, unfortunately in this country, there's too many people opposed to having free healthcare for everyone. So everybody else has to pay for medical costs. Medicaid is not free. They do charge the doctors, the doctors get paid. And there's so many people opposed in this country to universal health care that we can't get free health care for everyone. So there has a there is a cost. Um at this point, Ms. Peterson, you will be the one that needs to apply. Mr. Miller cannot apply for a child that does not live with him. Um, and then I don't control whether or not you qualify or not. We assume that you would qualify, we don't know. Uh, we're assuming if we are qualified that Mr. Miller has to pay a portion of the costs as if he had private health insurance. I'm going to lower that amount to $250 a month instead of the $300 or something dollars. Um, if you either one of you find private insurance through your employer separately uh, that's cheaper than $250, then uh, you can uh, let the Attorney General's office know and the other party, enroll the child, and then uh, we can stop charging the 250 after you tell the Medicaid office that as well. Uh, but until then, we're, we are we have to make sure that those costs are paid for. You may look into see if the VA has any uh, possibility of giving you insurance for your child. I don't know. Uh, but do some exploration as to see if there's something else that can help. The Attorney General's office will put this all in a court order and email you a copy. Y'all are done with court. You can press leave on the Zoom to exit out. Thank you.